Why would you design an economy for your society where everyone has the initiative to want to consume as fast as possible? We produce enough food for, I think, uh, 17 or 18 billion people. There's 7 billion of us, we should be doing quite good, but there are 2 billion people starving. That's, that's not economy. An economy is the intelligent management of the household. And having twice or three times as much food as you need and not being able to provide for everyone, I think it's, it's, it shows the inefficiency, the absolute inefficiency of the market system and of the monetary system. It's a problem of distribution and it's absolutely inadequate. The only way we can accurately and meaningfully speak of human nature is by looking at our basic human needs. On the one hand, if our basic human needs are met, meaning the bare necessities of food, uh, water, shelter, clothing, to the psychological support, which is really no less important, uh, we can more so expect human beings to develop into caring, compassionate, and socially aware individuals. But on the other hand, if basic human needs are not met, which is the overwhelming majority of cases within our present society, we get a different set of characteristics that matches this environment greed, violence, insecurity, and countless other psychological distortions. So, what kind of technology do we have today that can cover biological needs in abundance? And if science has taught us anything, it has taught us that working together is better than working alone or against each other. We can be so wonderfully achieving were the world simply to stop, look around, assess the situation, look at our tools, take stock of what resources are left and where, and fight the common enemy. And the enemy we all face now is what our culture is doing to us. It's the stage we are setting for our own destruction. Should we not reform our society and base it on resource management enabled through the scientific tools that we have?